Next at 11, a day out on the water takes a deadly turn when two jet skis collide in North County, killing a female passenger. They were supposed to be in San Francisco, but they never showed up. The investigation into a Tory Highlands couple found dead inside their home. A hit and run driver slams into several cars and a fire hydrant before being taken away in handcuffs. Keep it right here, News 8 at 11. Starts now. This is News 8 at 11. And we begin tonight with breaking news out of North County where we've just learned that a woman was killed in a jet ski crash. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Alicia Summers. The crash happened at the Agua Hedionda Lagoon in Carlsbad. News 8's Angie Lee joins us now in studio with details about the crash and the victims involved. Angie? And Steve and Alicia, very sad story. The Carlsbad Lagoon is a popular spot for watercraft. It's easy to see right off the freeway there. Off the five, you can stand up paddle, rent a kayak, a power boat, a boat or jet ski. Now, power boats and jet skis follow a flow pattern in the lagoon, which helps to prevent collisions. Now, according to the Carlsbad Police Department, the 17-year-old from Encinitas was following the flow of traffic when this deadly collision occurred. As you mentioned, it happened just before 4 o'clock today. Carlsbad Police received reports of two personal watercrafts crashing. A 17-year-old male driver had collided with a second jet ski driven by a male adult carrying a woman in the back. A 39-year-old woman who is from Los Angeles was rushed to the hospital where unfortunately she died. Here's Lieutenant Greg White. He took his eyes off the direction of travel for just a moment and looked behind him. And when he looked back to the front, there was a, a slower jet ski or stop jet ski in front of him that he wasn't able to avoid and he struck the jet ski. As a result, the female passenger that um, was on the jet ski that was struck uh, was knocked into the water and there was uh, quite a commotion and by the time they had uh, brought her to shore uh, they noticed that uh, they needed first aid they started cpr uh, the medics responded they continued the cpr they transported her down to scripps la jolla where they pronounced it's one of the emotional extremes you're having one of the best days of your lives to one of the worst days in, in the blink of an eye and no one else was injured. Authorities say alcohol and drugs do not appear to be a factor. The 17-year-old was with a parent or guardian, according to the jet ski company. Now, boat collisions are difficult to investigate than car accidents. Trying to reconstruct the scene is hard because everything's been moved. The Carlsbad Police Department plans to have boat collision experts examine the two jet skis tomorrow. Alicia and Steve. All right, Angie, thank you. Our other top story tonight, a couple that was supposed to be visiting San Francisco yesterday was found dead in their San Diego home. Family members called police when the man and woman didn't show up in the Bay Area. Authorities then went to their home in the 7400 block of Villa Rivera in Torrey Highlands last night to conduct a welfare check, and that's when they found the bodies. News 8's Kelly Hesedal has the latest on the investigation. It's shocking. I just can't believe it. Oh my gosh. This is just, it doesn't, that doesn't happen here. This is a great neighborhood. We love living here. Crime tape near the 7400 block of Villa Rivera after police found an Asian couple in their 50s dead inside their Torrey Highlands home. Neighbor Carla Flores says last night police told her this. There were no signs that there was going to be any, uh, that we were in danger. Um, that, but that's all he could disclose. Investigators say this started around 10 p.m. Saturday. Concerned relatives called police asking officers to do a welfare check on the house. The couple was expected in San Francisco earlier that day, but never showed up. Police knocked on the door and tried to call the couple, but there was no answer. An officer looked through a rear window and saw someone lying on the living room floor. Investigators forced entry into the house and discovered the two victims. Both had trauma to their upper bodies. It's unclear when they died. Police say there were no signs of a break-in. We spoke to Lieutenant Martha Sines by phone. No one else was found inside the residence. Do you have any idea of any suspects at this point? At this point, there are no suspects um, at the forefront, so we're still you know, talking to people to try and determine uh, you know, if anyone saw anything, uh, if anybody has any information in the recent couple days. Neighbor Randy Avon. I am so sorry to hear this. This is so sad. Other neighbors tell us they rarely saw the couple and that they had never heard of any disturbances there before. 
Avon says his heart goes out to the couple's relatives. Oh my gosh, I can imagine what they're going through. I mean, I would it would just kill me if something like that happened with a family member, you know? I mean, it's that's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Kelly Hassadal, News 8. We are learning new details about yesterday's fatal shooting at a Poway apartment complex. The UT is reporting that 38 year old Michael Walker was asleep in bed with his wife when he was hit by a bullet which came from a neighboring apartment. His wife rushed him to the hospital where he later died. 20 year old Manula Save was later arrested by police. New tonight, a driver is in custody after a short chase ended with a huge mess. This happened earlier tonight in Sherman Heights. We're told police spotted a wrong way driver on Broadway near Park Boulevard and followed him. When they tried to initiate a stop, he sped off. During a brief chase, the driver hit several cars before ultimately shearing off a fire hydrant near Market and 24th. The man was arrested. Tonight, a crime fighter's alert. The search continues for the driver who led police on a chase from North County to the college area. Started in Escondido around 4.30. The driver of a suspected stolen vehicle headed south on the 15. Now, News 8's cameras were there as the van blew past the Claremont Mesa Boulevard exit in Kearney Mesa. The driver then ended up in the college area on surface streets. There you see that van. A closer look. Police called off the chase as a precaution for safety reasons. No word yet on whether there were any crashes or injuries along the way. A trip to jail for 36 people across the county among those arrested during a warrant sweep yesterday by the San Diego Sheriff's County uh, by the Sheriff's Department was a 53 year old San Diego man who was in possession of a gram and a half of methamphetamine. He now faces even more charges. Two stolen vehicles were also recovered during that sweep. <laughs> heart issues are the number one cause of death for young athletes, including Eric Paredes, who died from cardiac arrest a decade ago at the age of 15. Now his mother, Rena, is turning her heartbreak into an incredible life-saving program in his name. Today, the Eric Paredes Save a Life Foundation held a free heart screening event, hoping to catch those who may be unaware of hidden dangers. We have screened over 30,000 kids um, in the San Diego community, and we have found over 200 kids at risk for sudden cardiac arrest. Out of 660 people tested today, they detected seven potential heart issues, three of which were serious enough to be at risk for sudden cardiac arrest. That is so fantastic that she is taking something so tragic in her life and making sure that no other families have to go yeah. through it. And the fact that they are finding so many kids who could potentially be in danger who wouldn't have been screened otherwise Would not have been screened. and if it just saves one life it's right? totally worth it yeah. san diego lifeguards were busy at local beaches this weekend and as we head into the final days of summer a reminder to always practice water safety tips First of all, if you get caught in the rip and you're not able to make it in the shore, we want you to swim parallel to shore. Not against the rip current, but out of the rip current. Officials say there were about 125,000 people at local beaches yesterday. Lifeguards performed 40 water rescues and provided medical aid to nearly 90 people. And with our beautiful weather this weekend, it's easy to see why there were so many people out at the beach. So what can we expect for the work week? Brendan Lewis is in for Sean tonight with a first look at your microclimate forecast. Brandon. And it's a tough week to go back to work because temperatures are still going to remain warm, if not above average. Going sending the kids out to school in San Ysidro where the school is back in session, partly cloudy skies and 64 degrees, and it will remain a little bit below average as far as temperatures are concerned. 71 by recess, going home 72 degrees. The rest of the county, 74 degrees along the coast, 86 degrees inland, the mountains at 90, and the desert 110. Now, these temperatures will slowly start to increase over the next few days. Take a look at the inland, 86 tomorrow, 89 by Tuesday, 92 by Wednesday. Coming up in your full eight-day microclimate forecast, we'll explain why this is happening and when we might finally get a little bit of relief. But I will send things back to you guys at the desk. All right, Brandon, thank you. Hundreds of surfers, scientists, and cancer survivors flocked to La Jolla Shores today to catch a wave for a cause. The Luau and Legends of Surfing Invitational is in its 26th year of raising awareness and funds for the Moores Cancer Center at UCSD Health. Teams of community members were paired with a surf legend for a little friendly competition that was free to the public, and it was all followed by a luau. 
For one local survivor, surfing has been essential to maintaining his physical and mental health. Surf surfing pays a big part in your recovery and your mental health. It keeps you young, it keeps you kind of invigorated. Being in the ocean every day makes you feel great. And this event has raised nearly $9 million for cancer research since 1994. Coming up, kayakers narrowly escape as a glacier comes crumbling down right in front of them. It's video you have to see, but first, a warning from law enforcement after two young men are arrested for plotting mass shootings. And chaos in Central America as a deadly riot breaks out before a soccer match. News 8 is sponsored by The Good Feet Store. Foot, leg, and back pain relief. My feet hurt so bad in the morning, I couldn't even put my feet on the floor. So I built all this together to engineer a solution to my pain. Finally, I went to Good Feet and they gave me this. Good Feet Art Supports, engineered for pain relief, personally fitted for you. I got a new Tacoma from Toyota Carlsbad. Ordered it online and they delivered it to the beach. Hey, you know, it's easy. ToyotaCarlsbad.com. You'll smile with big savings on a huge selection of new Tacomas today. With ToyotaCarlsbad.com Toyota express purchase, Carlsbad. you can buy your new Toyota anywhere. When the hot sun hits your ice cream, lick fast, like a cookie dough ninja. Apply that same speed to the Ford Hurry Up and Save Sales event. It's the best time to get a great deal on a new Ford. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. It all adds up. Don't you love math? So get here ASAP, because tasty deals in summer go fast. Get in or lose out on F-150 with 0% financing for 72 months. That's 8,900 possible finance savings. If your air conditioner needs repair, we'd appreciate the opportunity to wow you with our team of expert technicians. Call us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. We're Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air, and nobody wows clients like we do. A yield curve inversion in the bond market set U.S. stocks crashing. And many believe it's a sign of worse things to come. But what is the yield curve? Can it really signal a coming recession? We verify Monday at 5 or find out in our app right now. The death toll has risen to 63 after a suicide bombing at a packed wedding hall in Afghanistan Saturday. At least 180 more were wounded out of the more than 1,000 who were at the venue. Witnesses say they saw the bomber walking among guests, including children who were dancing before detonating the bomb. The Taliban, which is reportedly in peace negotiations with the U.S., has condemned the attack. However, the Afghan president blamed the fundamentalist group for providing a, quote, platform for terrorists. The Islamic State is now claiming credit. Four people are dead after violence erupted before a scheduled soccer match in Honduras happened last night at the National Stadium in the capital of Tegucigalpa. Officials say fans threw rocks at the bus of a rival team as it arrived, injuring three players. Fights between fans broke out first with fists, then with gunfire. The violence then spilled into the stadium. Riot police stormed the pitch and used tear gas to disperse the crowd. One person was arrested. Three others remain hospitalized. Tonight, law enforcement is on high alert for copycat mass shooters in the wake of recent tragedies in El Paso and Dayton. Just in the past 48 hours, two men in separate incidents were arrested on suspicion of plotting attacks. Meg Oliver has more on how the public can help look out for potential threats. Police arrested 20-year-old James Reardon on Saturday, a self-described white nationalist, after uncovering this threatening social media post. Authorities say the video shows him shooting a semi-automatic rifle and talking about killing Jews in Youngstown, Ohio. That kicked off an intense... Um, investigation, a very rapidly evolving investigation. Reardon took part in the deadly protests in Charlottesville, Virginia in 2017. He was interviewed for a documentary saying he wanted to see a homeland established only for whites. Police seized semi-automatic weapons, dozens of rounds of ammunition, and bulletproof armor. 
A day earlier, more than a thousand miles away, another takedown in Daytona Beach, Florida. Volusia County deputies swarmed 25-year-old Tristan Wicks in a grocery store parking lot. They uncovered chilling text messages that read, I'd like to shoot into a large crowd and kill 100 people. And I'd want to break a world record for longest confirmed kill ever. Are copycat crimes becoming a competitive sport? Yes, actually they are. An FBI study shows 85% of active shooters brag online about their potential plan. CBS News law enforcement and security analyst Paul Violas. They equally as disturbing is the fact that 54% of the individuals that read or were aware of the active shooter's plans said and did nothing. We need to get more involved preemptively as evidenced by this empirical data. We can make a big impact and we can do it soon. Authorities said Wicks had a 22 caliber hunting rifle and 400 rounds of ammunition when he was arrested. This is how it's supposed to work. You see something, say something. Law enforcement does their job. We seize his weapons. He's under arrest. Wicks is being held without bond in Florida. And in Ohio, Reardon is being held on $250,000 bond with a court hearing scheduled for Monday morning. The FBI has not said if they will pursue charges. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. Some dramatic moments at the mouth of the Merrimack River outside Boston after two boats there collide. One of them capsized with five people on board. They were in the water in trouble when a whale watching boat, the captain lady, showed up. A woman on board said that she helped toss life jackets to four people who were in the water. When they were coming aboard, there were two small boys, maybe between the ages of seven and 12 and two grown adults. They kept saying, there's five of us, there's five of us. A Coast Guard diver found that fifth person under the capsized boat and got him to safety. No serious injuries were reported. A dangerously close call in Alaska when a glacier collapsed right near some kayakers. The two men were close by when they heard the cracking begin. At first, a few small pieces came crumbling down, and then eventually a whole connected chunk of ice fell, sending water shooting right at them, as you see there. Fortunately, they were not injured. Meantime, Iceland is also grappling with the loss of a glacier as climate change continues to impact the global ice pack. Yesterday, the prime minister and citizens gathered to mark the demise of a glacier in southwest Iceland with a plaque. The 700-year-old glacier was declared dead in 2014 when scientists determined it was no longer thick enough to move. Since then, the ice has rapidly thinned. It's the first of the island's 269 glaciers to lose its status. If the climate trend continues, all of them could be gone in the next 200 years. Still ahead, a full look at your microclimate forecast. And a playful pod of dolphins spotted along the Southern California coast. We'll show you more when we come back. When I first went to the doctor, he had mentioned that sooner than later I would be on dialysis. Of course, I was like in tears. It's like, this is not possible. Obviously, I have to go on disability. I really depend on the American Kidney Fund to basically pay for my insurance. If they pass AB 290, what they're basically doing is they're just killing me slowly. If they take this away, I don't think I would be alive. Oh, hey, Mr. World here. 
in the world's most shark-infested waters, where hidden dangers can really cost you. Totally opposite of Eyeglass World, the world's best way to buy glasses. Because at Eyeglass World, the costs are clear and simple, which is way better than bait and switch. Whoa. Especially when I'm the bait. With clear, simple pricing, Eyeglass World is the world's best way to buy glasses. Come get two pairs for $78. And try our new contact lens subscription for the world's best way to buy contacts. A pod of dolphins is spotted frolicking along the Southern California coastline this weekend. Take a look at this video. It was shot earlier this evening off the coast of Hermosa Beach. The cameraman followed the pod for a couple of minutes, and the dolphins put on quite a show. Now, your microclimate forecast, presented by Bill Howe. A lot of people were frolicking at the beach this weekend. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I Place was one of them. Be. I went there. Yeah. It was fantastic. It's some ocean swimming this morning. The water's temperature wasn't that bad either. Really nice conditions. Hopefully you had an opportunity to enjoy the coast or go enjoy whatever you were able to do this weekend, whatever interests you, and hopefully enjoy the weather for the next few days because we are going to see temperatures warm up. We'll take a look outside. There are fewer clouds over the downtown area than we've seen in previous nights. That's a trend that will continue for at least one or two more nights. Humidity at 78%. Temperature at 68 degrees and winds are calm right now. The rest of the county seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, 58 in Ramona, 68 in Julian, finally out of the triple digits in our uh, desert communities, 88 degrees in Borrego Springs. Our temperatures today were just a hair below average. 74 was the high recorded at San Diego International, our low right on par with what we normally see for this time of year. We will continue to see forecast at lows that are right about what we normally see. 60 degrees in Escondido, 62 in uh, El Cajon, 54 in Julian, and 74 will be the low overnight in Borrego Springs. <clears throat> So we do have a heat advisory. Temperatures are going to start to warm as we get through the week. By Wednesday, this heat advisory for our desert communities, an excessive heat warning for Imperial County and portions of Riverside County. What's happening is a high pressure system is starting to build over Texas, and it will eventually make its way further west. Keep your eye right over El Paso. This is the ridge right here. It will start to slowly back in toward New Mexico and eventually Arizona. By Tuesday, it comes over San Diego and Los Angeles, and that's when we will start to see the effects, mostly out toward the eastern edge of the state and then eventually by Wednesday here in San Diego. So it might be a good opportunity to go to the beach where we will see waves about one to three feet with what we're calling a westerly uh, waves, but really it's kind of a mixed swell averaging to the west. Water temperature is quite varied, depends on where you are. So we're seeing some places closer to 65, others as high as 72 by Scripps Pier. Rip current expected to be low for tomorrow, but the UV index will be high at a 10. So remember to use plenty of sunblock if you're planning to hit the ocean. Your eight day microclimate forecast has temperatures remaining stable along the coast, but inland communities. The warmest day will be Wednesday at 92. Then temperatures start to cool, stabilize a little bit as we head toward the end of the work week. Our mountain communities top out at 98 degrees on Wednesday, cooling just a little bit. The desert stays in the triple digits, topping out at 115 by Wednesday, then getting down to 104 for the weekend. So we're continuing to see this uh, kind of roller coaster trend that we've been seeing, but uh, hopefully it's an opportunity to enjoy some of the warmer weather. <laughs> Good excuse to head to the coast, that's I, for I don't sure. I an excuse, but yes. yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if you did. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Brandon. Brandon. All right, the field of 30 set for next week's PGA battle for $15 million. Sean's coming up next to explain. Plus, the Padre is looking for a series win in Philadelphia. John has those highlights as well. Next. the Labor Day preview sale at Mattress Firm. For a limited time, we're offering a king mattress for the price of a queen and a queen for the price of a twin. It's our best bed deal of the season with savings of up to $600. Plus, you take home a free adjustable base with your mattress purchase of just $4.99. Our customers are raving about these deals. Shop early and hurry in to try your new mattress at the Labor Day preview sale. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. The rule of three states, things that come in threes are inherently more appealing than those that don't. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs, one GMC. Current non-GM lessees can get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Acadia SLE1 for around $285 per month, zero down payment, and $285 due at signing. Was 
酸的心，他会再次感到幸福。The next American Chinese original is here. New Sichuan hot chicken for a heartbreaking limited time only at Panda Express. Summer is here. Don't be caught off guard by high summer energy bills. Spread bills evenly throughout the year with Level Pay. Sign up today at sdge.com/summer. I'm Barbara, and I'm a Calcos member. I had a lot of credit card debt. My sister, when I told her my story, she says we're going to Calcos Credit Union. Calcos has changed my life. Ever since then, it's been such a wonderful experience. Now, News 8 Sports. Here's John Howard. Talking a little golf today. Yes, golf. We're coming down to the end of the season. It's now a playoff season for golf, uh, unlike uh, decades past. And a new format, too, for the scoring. Uh, not a lot of drama as to who would win today's BMW Championship, but a lot of intrigue heading into the final event of the season, which is this next week. Only the top 30 advance to play this next weekend. Aztec and Scripps Ranch High alum Xander Shoffley is in. He's eighth in the season standings with a shot at that FedEx Cup trophy. As for this weekend's tournament, Patrick Cantlay cut uh, cuts Justin Thomas's lead to two after that birdie at 13, but Thomas steps up and does the same. And Cantlay is watching and can't hardly watch. Uh, that's as close as he would get. Thomas wins the tournament at 25 under par and heads into next week in the top spot. It's hard. I was really nervous today. I was, um, man, it's it's hard to play with the lead, and I, I, I kind of was. I was enjoying it though. You know, I was like, this is this is why you play, and this game's so hard. You don't know how how often things like this are going to happen, but um, we've been working hard to get back to it, and uh, feels feels great. And in a new scoring system this year, Justin Thomas will start the Players' Championship next week at 10 under par with a two-shot lead on Patrick Cantlay. Shoffley starts six shots off the lead. The winner of next week's event is the FedEx Cup champ and takes home a $15 million payday. Wow. All right, the Padres are in Cincinnati tonight where they will open a three-game series tomorrow. They'll be off the rebound of two straight wins against the Phillies. Uh, the Philly Fanatic making his rounds in Philly today. The Padres are down one nothing in the fourth when Luis Urias goes the other way. That's gone, a two-run home run, and the Padres have a two-to-one lead. It was a huge day for catcher Austin Hedges, tied in the seventh inning. Hedges puts a solo shot into the left field seats. Four hits on the day for Hedges. That's a career high for him. Kirby Ace would come on in the ninth to get the save. Tomorrow night, the Padres and Reds open the series. They're both seven and a half games out of a wild card spot with 39 games to play. All right, let's head to double A for the play of the day. Pitcher Ronald Bolanos with the incredible falling down, tossed to second base to start the 1 6 3 double play. This is the Amarillo Sod Poodles, which is the Padres' double A affiliate. That is the play of the day. Funny car driver Ron Caps of Carlsbad won today, going 324 miles per hour. It's Caps' third win of the season, the sixth time he's won at Brainerd. Caps is fourth in the season standings and has clinched a spot in the countdown to the championship. Antonio Brown was a no-show at Raiders practice again today. The star wide receiver is still upset that the league won't allow him to use the helmet he prefers. The Raiders have been supporting Brown in his battle with the NFL thus far, but that seems to be over. Here's general manager Mike Mayock. He's upset about the helmet issue. Uh, we have supported that. We appreciate that. Okay, but we've at this point we've pretty much exhausted all avenues of relief. So from our perspective, it's time for him to be all in or all out. All right, wow. All right, it goes without saying the NFL needs to shorten its preseason. Philip Rivers has yet to play, and the same is true for many other players in the league. Uh, Chargers backup, Cardale Jones did well. 10 for 14 for 111 yards today, and that touchdown passed Andre Patton. Just before half, Troy Man Pope bust loose for an 81-yard punt return for a touchdown. The Chargers led by 14 at the break, but the Saints came back to win 19 to 17, and the NFL regular season starts in a little less than three weeks. So for those of us, I just had my fantasy football draft this past weekend. Mm -hmm. Feel like I did pretty well, but we'll know more in about 19 weeks when the season ends. <laughs> of course, how do you even know, right? I mean, Philip Rizzo hasn't even thrown a pass. You don't know what he looks like this season. No, but I'm pretty...
certain he'll do well. Yeah, I, you're probably right. <laughs> Hopefully Thanks. they'll earn you some money, John. We're rooting That's for right. you. No doubt <laughs> about it. A final look at tomorrow's microclimate forecast next. If Philip Rivers retired, he would not be a Hall of Famer. One of these Super Bowl guys. How can we make fan X fan better? Let viewers have say. The News 8 Post Game Show starting September 8th. The all new News 8 app, now in the App Store. The new guacamole double cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. is only $299. It's $2.99. We forgot the decimal point. Only $2.99 for a burger with guacamole? The latest charbroiled double deal is only $2.99 at Carl's Jr. I switched from Dodge. We switched from Ford. I switched from Ram. I switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. For dependability. For these guys. And just look at it. We, we switch, switch to Chevy. Chevy. See for yourself why people are switching at the Chevy All-Star Open House. Get 0% financing plus $2,000 cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. Or get 20% below MSRP on all Silverado double cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. You wanted to save on prescriptions, so you went online and got so confused that your brain went offline. Next time, ask your helpful CVS pharmacist. We created a proprietary search tool that analyzes ways to help lower your prescription costs. Just drop in before you conk out. See what you might say at CVS Pharmacy. Hi, welcome to Toyota's National, National Clearance, Clearance event. event. Yes, now's the time to get a great deal on the last, last of the, the 2019s. Huh, I'm impressed. But the deals will only last until September 3rd. What am I thinking now? Now at Toyota's National Clearance Event, save big with a low $249 a month lease on a new Camry or Prius. Or get 1.9 APR for 60 months. Save on the last of the 2019s. Come in today! Okay, what's up? Toyota, let's go places. The new guacamole double cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. is only $299. It's $2.99. We forgot the decimal point. Only $2.99 for a burger with guacamole? The latest charbroil double deal is only $2.99 at Carl's Jr. Closed caption sponsored by ASI. Club Dre? Call the White Club guys. We check your plumbing problems for free. All right, Brandon, so just like the weekend, the cooler than average temperatures are over. They are over. We are going to see temperatures continue to climb over the next few days, with the hottest day being on Wednesday. And we'll take a look at some of these maps because we have a, it's kind of backing into the area. We have excessive heat warning on Tuesday for extreme portions of the eastern part of the state, a heat advisory starting on Wednesday for the desert. What's basically happening is that there's a high pressure system building over Texas. It will come into San Diego on Monday night into Tuesday. Day, and then by Wednesday, we continue to see temperatures climbing, and that's why we see that heat advisory. So your eight-day microclimate forecast along the coast, we see Wednesday the hottest day for our inland communities at 92 degrees. Then things start to cool a little bit, but we have another high-pressure system on the way. That means next weekend also looking warm as well. Our mountain and desert communities following a similar trend. Wednesday is the hottest day of the week in the mountains at 98 degrees, cooling to 95, and then 93 by Friday. Desert communities up to 115 by Wednesday. As always, use those precautions to uh, stem the effects of the heat by drinking plenty of fluids and uh, checking on any of your neighbors or your pets, of course, that you may leave outside. I think, Steve, you mentioned the old Sean Stiles right, tricks. Yeah. If you can't feel it with your palm and can't stand it, it's yeah. too hot for your if pet. You, if you can't put your hand on the, on the ground for five seconds, mm -hmm. it's definitely too hot for your animals. So. Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us tonight at 11. And TIS New Orleans is next. Have a great week. Good night. Downtown views provided by the Manchester Grand Hyatt. My Gotham dual power reclining sofa with dual power headrests, only $7.99. Or my dual power reclining...